N'Golo Kante is one of the most popular footballers in the world. I mean, is it even humanly possible not to like him? Here are 10 things you didn't know about the king of the ball winners. 10. Worked as a garbage collector. Now, it's often said that Kante does the dirty work on the pitch. Well, when he was growing up, he literally did do the dirty work. Kante was raised in the suburbs of Paris with his mum, dad, three brothers and a sister. His dad tragically died when he was young. And as the oldest child, Angolo felt a strong sense of responsibility. To help out the family, he reportedly took a job as a garbage collector. Kante apparently used to walk for miles looking for waste that he'd take to recycling companies in return for a bit of cash. The man himself has never actually confirmed whether the reports are true or not, but all that walking would definitely explain how he got his unbelievable stamina. 9. Went to a fan's wedding Now, everyone knows how shy and humble Kante is. Unlike a lot of footballers, he doesn't seek out the limelight. While other star players are seen wearing thousand-pound suits at glamorous celebrity weddings, Kante prefers to be more low-key. After N'Golo had eaten at his restaurant, a Chelsea fan called Frank Khalid invited him to his daughter's upcoming wedding. No one actually expected him to turn up, but when the big day rolled around, Kante was there at the ceremony. He stayed till the end and he was so nice to everyone and took selfies with the guests, Khalid explained. 8. Almost played for Mali instead of France Kante's parents emigrated to France from Mali in 1980, 11 years before he was born. That means he qualified to play for the Mali national team. A lot of players are eligible to play for more than one country. The difference with Kante is that he came very close to throwing his hat in the ring for Mali. Before he was seen as a world-class talent, Kante told Leicester's assistant manager that he wanted to play for the country his parents were born in. He didn't think he was good enough to play for France and was approached by Mali in 2016. But by then, Kante was on his way to inspiring Leicester to Premier League glory, and France soon called him up. 50 caps and one World Cup trophy later, they definitely don't regret it. 7. Went to a random Arsenal fan's house now, there's no love lost between London rivals Arsenal and Chelsea, but if anyone can bridge the gap, it's N'Golo. After a game in 2018, Kante was supposed to get the Eurostar from London to Paris. He missed his train, though, and headed to a mosque close to St Pancras Station instead. When he was there, he met an Arsenal fan who plucked up the courage to invite Kante back to his house. Amazingly, N'Golo said yes. They spent the evening playing FIFA, eating chicken curry and watching Match of the Day. Even Arsenal fans love Kante. 6. Wanted to run to training Kante's energy on the pitch is unreal. Just ask Steve Walsh, Leicester's former head of recruitment. People think we play with two in midfield, he said after the Foxes won the Premier League. I say no, we play with Danny Drinkwater in the middle and with Kante either side. During his time at Leicester, Kante wanted to run to training so he could improve his fitness even more. The other players were stunned when they heard this. They persuaded him to drive instead, but all of them were amazed by his dedication. 5. Still drives a Mini Cooper the car park at Premier League training grounds look a bit like outdoor showrooms for supercar makers. You'll see Ferraris, Bentleys, Range Rovers and Lamborghinis all lined up next to each other. Down at Chelsea's training facility, it's a bit different. You'll spot a Mini Cooper among the sports cars. No, it doesn't belong to the tea lady. It belongs to, yep, N'Golo Kante. It's not really a surprise when you know what the Frenchman's like. He doesn't believe in showing off and in his eyes a Mini Cooper does the job just fine. Amazingly though, it's the exact same car he first had at Leicester six years ago. Even some non-league footballers change their cars more often. 4. Refuse to dodge tax According to Football Leaks, Chelsea allegedly asked Kante if he wanted to receive part of his salary through an offshore tax haven in Jersey. If he'd said yes, Kante would have saved around £870,000 a year, but the midfielder wanted everything to be done correctly, so he turned down the offer and asked for a normal salary instead. When Kante received a pay rise after signing a new contract in 2018, he was suddenly paying more tax than Amazon and Starbucks did the previous year. 3. Wanted to be an accountant 
Kante probably knows more about the ins and outs of taxes than most other footballers. That's because he planned to be an accountant if his football dream didn't work out. Kante wanted to be a footballer from a young age after being inspired when France won the 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000. But being the sensible person he is, Kante also had a backup plan. While he was playing semi-professional football, he completed a two-year accountancy course. Thankfully, he's never needed to use it. Although if Kante doesn't fancy coaching or punditry after he's retired, he could always dig out his old calculator instead. 2. Nickname The Rat Kante's main nickname is NG, but let's be honest, it's a bit boring. Maybe that's what Eden Hazard thought too. When they were playing together at Chelsea, Hazard started calling Kante the rat. It sounds a bit of an insult, but Hazard meant it as a compliment. Kante's style of play reminded him of a rat as he scampered around the pitch and popped up just about everywhere. 1. Won loads of awards Ball-winning midfielders used to be unfashionable and they usually missed out on the individual awards, not anymore. As well as two Premier League titles, a Champions League, a Europa League, an FA Cup and the World Cup, Kante has received loads of individual prizes. Those include the PFA Player of the Year, the FWA Player of the Year, the Leicester Player of the Year, the Chelsea Player of the Year and the French Player of the Year. We'd love to list them all in this video, but it'd take about half an hour. Uh, next stop, the Ballon d'Or. What's your favourite thing about N'Golo Kante? Drop a comment below and then hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our football videos.